Good morning. It is Saturday and I get breakfast in bed today. It's been a couple weeks since I've had it. So I have an omelet with veggies, some bacon, and a two-point English muffin. So this whole breakfast is only four points on the blue plan. It would be four points on the purple plan and it would be 10 points on the green plan. I am getting my website updated and getting ready to finish all that up and get my day started. I think I win the award for the oddest lunch. I'm not really hungry, but I want something so I don't get super hungry. Um, we're getting ready to go and pick up, we have to pick up our produce order curbside, some deli meat curbside, and also, um, my prescription so I wanted to eat before we went because when I come home I have to start the dough for the stromboli for dinner I really didn't know what I wanted so I have some Brussels sprouts that were left over from the other night so they're zero points and then I have one points worth of cottage cheese and then this on top of the cottage cheese is cranberry apple butter that Denise over at Dish with D makes and is kind enough to share some with me She's got a stash of frozen cranberries, so she can make it. Let me tell you, the minute cranberries are back, I am going to stock up and fill my freezer because this stuff is amazing, and I plan on making it all the time. So that is what I'm eating for lunch. It is one point. Okay, we just got home from our produce pickup, and here's what I got. I got two pounds of mushrooms. They are for recipes this week. I got one bunch of asparagus. I still have one in the refrigerator. Some romaine hearts, strawberries, cucumbers, some Spanish onions, three pound of red grapes, a pineapple, and two cantaloupe. So there is my produce haul for the week. Not that I think it's gonna last for the week. We still have oranges, we still have bananas, we still have clementines. So, and blueberries so hopefully this will last a little while um, I just found out about a new produce place that's supposedly really good and a lot more inexpensive and they have a little bit more variety so we might give them a try next week we'll see so I started making dinner and then said hey wait maybe I'll record it so this is gonna be kind of a hot mess cook with me not that they all aren't but because I'm like halfway done. I've got half the stuff out. I'm probably going to have to go find more stuff. But anyway, I'll bring you along. So we're going to make classic Italian stromboli. So here I have my dough. Um, this is the Busy Kitchen pizza dough. It's kind of like two ingredient dough, but it has yeast in it and less yogurt. So I have it rolled out to like a 12 by 14, maybe a little bit bigger rectangle. I have a tablespoon of melted light butter. You're supposed to put garlic in it. I was lazy and I just used garlic powder. And I'm just gonna brush it over the dough. I'm kinda in a hurry because everybody's hungry. Nobody really ate lunch today. You saw I had those Brussels sprouts and some cottage cheese. I think Doug had a built bar for lunch. Adam had a built bar for lunch. Andrew did have a grilled cheese, so he did eat a decent lunch. Okay, so after we brush that, we're gonna put half a cup of mozzarella cheese on it. And then we are going to top it with 12 slices of ham. I buy the Krakus ham from the deli. It's, I get it sliced very thin and it's very low point. Now I haven't made this yet. This kind of made it up. I'm guessing 12 slices of ham, we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, looks like I can't count. Nine, 
10. Yeah, I can't count. I'll be right back. Eleven and twelve. Next, on top of that, we're going to put some roasted red peppers that I just pat it dry and sliced up. These were whole roasted red peppers. How many of you use will depend on how big your peppers are. If you want the honest truth. What do you think? Think that looks good? Or do you think I should put more? Okay. Then on top of the roasted red peppers, we're going to layer some salami. I have like 10 slices of margarita hard salami that I got sliced at the deli. And then, because things were a little lower point than I thought they were going to be, and I have a ton of points to spare today, I'm going to add some provolone cheese. So it's going to bump up the points a little bit, but like I said, I have it. And these are two points a slice. Should I put the last two on? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You can never go wrong with more cheese. Uh, I can with my points, sunshine. Okay. Then we're going to put on the rest of the mozzarella. I might, next time I think I would probably not put the provolone and bump up the mozzarella, but I have to get rid of the provolone because it's nearing its end. Okay. Now. I don't have my egg wash ready. I'll be right back. Okay, I have one egg beaten with one tablespoon of water and I'm just gonna put it around the edges. And then here's where it gets tricky. We're gonna start with this edge and we're gonna roll her up. Okay, I'm just going to steal a little off the end here and, you know, patch job. Patch job. It's okay. <clears throat> Doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to taste good. I'm not on the Great American Baking Show or Great British Baking Show or anything like that. My family will eat it, even if it's not pretty. Just gonna kind of make sure that's sealed. Turn it over, seam side down. And then I'm gonna just tuck the edges under, the ends under. Probably should have sealed those a little bit better, but that's okay. So there we have it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this whole thing and plop it onto the baking sheet, parchment paper and all. And we're gonna bake it at 375 after I brush it with the egg wash. 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes. We're gonna cut it into eight slices 
and two slices is going to be a serving for 10 points. Might bump up to 11 now that I added that cheese. I'm gonna have to put that in and see. But I noticed the salami and the ham were lower points than I originally thought. So who knows, it all might come out in the wash. I'm just gonna sprinkle this with some sesame seeds to make it look pretty. I thought I was gonna slice it, like slice some vent holes in it, but I'm not going to because I don't want the stuff to to leak out. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it with sesame seeds, get this puppy in the oven, so I can get my family fed. I think these make it look just a little more finished. And I'm guessing this thing's gonna burst open like a crazy in the oven, so we'll see. Okay. There we go. She's going in the oven and I'll be back and show you what it looks like when we're, oh, no, I'm not. Wait, I got something. A little bit of Parmesan on top. Like literally zero points worth. That's why I love this microplane grater because it shaves it so light and so little, you can get a decent amount for no points. It's linked in my Amazon store below if you are interested. Okay, now it's going in the oven and I'll be back to show you when it's done. Okay, it is out of the oven. I am going to let it rest for about, probably about seven to 10 minutes, just to make sure all the cheese kind of has chance to settle and doesn't ooze out when I slice it. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like sliced. Okay, here is the finished product the classic Italian stromboli. I re-put the ingredients in that I used, the, the exact brand of salami and the exact brand, the brand of ham and how much I used. And it ended up coming down to eight points for the two slices. But I put that extra cheese in, if you remember, and that bumped it way up to 12 points for the two slices. So next time I probably won't do that, but I will add a little bit more mozzarella maybe. Um, Cause I really don't mind 10 points for a dinner. And I do have the points to spend for the 12 tonight, so not a big deal. And I knew that when I messed with the recipe. So this is my dinner along with a beautiful spring mix salad. And there you have it. Everybody's saying how delicious it is, so I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, guys, I am ending this video here for the night. I am finishing my night cup of one point hot chocolate. It's just the Swiss Miss reduced calorie mix. Usually I make it homemade, but I was feeling a little bit lazy tonight. So I'm gonna drink this and that's it for me for tonight. I think I ended the night. I have to go look back at my tracker. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 out of 20, 18 out of 23 points for today. Very full, very satisfied. Um, I did have some fruit during the day um, and veggies that I just kind of forgot to show you because, you know, like I've said in other videos, we leave them on the counter and just kind of pick as we go by. Um, so I did get my fruits and veggies, um, all zero points, and yeah, it was a great day on plan. Um, did not exercise today, took the day off on that because I was busy updating my website this morning. Um, so back at it tomorrow and... Another great day of eating planned. So have a fantastic night. Stay safe, stay healthy, and if you can, stay home. Have a great night, everyone, and I will see you soon.